This explainer answers the question, what is an analytic consequence? First, let's talk about two related concepts. Indeed, in our work, we will use these concepts interchangeably. From language proof and logic, we get the following definitions. A sentence is a logical consequence of a set of premises if it is impossible for the premises all to be true while the conclusion is false. Similarly, an argument is valid if the conclusion must be true in any circumstance in which the premises are true. In other words, if the premises are true, then the conclusion must also be true. The conclusion is guaranteed by the premises. When we consider an analytic consequence, we're thinking in terms of conceptual consequence, if you will. Think about, for example, the fact that we understand the meanings of certain predicates like left of, back of, older than, taller than, and so forth. We also understand the arrangements of the things related yield, or the arrangements yield, specific inferences. Let's suppose, for example, that if A is in front of B and B is in front of C, it follows that A is in front of C. This inference is an analytic consequence of the meaning of the relation or relational predicate front of and the arrangement of the individuals so related. When we draw a logically correct inference from the meaning and arrangements of the elements, we draw the consequence by analysis, that is, conceptual analysis. Now, let's consider the abbreviation of analytic consequence, ANACON, as it functions in the Fitch program. In theory, our text tells us, ANACON should allow you to infer any sentence that follows from the cited sentences in virtue of the meanings of the truth functional connectives, the quantifiers, the identity predicate, and the blocks language predicates. Now, just a quick note, depending on where you are in the course, you haven't got to truth functional connectives and quantifiers. That said, the concept still is useful to us. In other words, when we think about an inference being a valid inference, an inference being a logic logical consequence of uh, one or two sentences. When we think about an inference being an analytical consequence, we can justify that move in Fitch with Anacon. Now, Anacon is a mechanism in Fitch that serves as a stopgap for a justificatory rule until we get to the rules that we will use in derivations. At present, if you're in Chapter 2, you have the identity rules, but no other way to justify an inference. So since we derive a step in a proof by way of a rule, we're going to need to have some uh, actual name of a justification. And that name, if it's not involving, if it does not involve the identity symbol, will involve the Anacon mechanism. So, for example, we can say that when A is identical to B and A is identical to A, it follows that B is identical to A. We'll rarely use the uh, intro rule for the identity symbol. We typically uh, will use it for the elimination of the identity. So, for example, if A is a cube, A is identical to B, it follows from the identity elimination rule that B is also a cube. Where we don't have identity, however, even if we do, we could still use Anacon, but we Fitch would want us to use uh, the identity rule. But when we don't have uh, identity to uh, the identity rules to guide us, we will use Anacon. So, when we want to demonstrate or show the steps in a valid argument, we need rules to do so. If we do not have uh, a rule in play, we can use Anacon. There are going to be times, we'll see as we go forward in our work, that we don't have a rule. So for example, when we're dealing with 
atomic sentences and their relations like A is larger than B, B is larger than C, we must use anacon as a way to justify the inference, therefore A is uh, larger than C, right? So when we're, uh, before we get to the rules that we're going to be using in uh, chapters 6, 8, and 13, we're going to use anacon as a justificatory mechanism. So when we have a logical consequence, we are going to use anacon if we don't have another rule to use to justify the inference. Again, this is all uh, uh, focusing, this is all a focus on what we do in Fitch. Okay, so the Fitch program allows you to use anacon to show uh, whether or not an argument is valid. It allows us to justify uh, a valid inference. So we'll see that more explicitly in chapter four. In the meantime, here are a couple of screenshots of how the inference works. Notice when we click on the rule drop down menu, we see con and we use anacon when we have a conceptually analyzed inference, such as in this case, such as the smaller medium to small inference, or when we, as in the case of chapter two, do not yet have in Fitch other rules at our disposal. I hope this video has helped you think about an answer to the question, what is an analytic consequence?